Hey guys, what's up? I am here shooting another review video for you guys, and today I am reviewing the Strive Fusion smartwatch slash activity tracker. Um, it is by a company called Strive, and I don't know if you've heard of them before, but I definitely haven't, so I don't know a whole lot about the company. But I thought that when I was looking for a activity tracker, this caught my eye and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it's pretty sleek looking. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to use. You just double tap to activate it and you can see the time and the date. And then if you swipe, you can see how many steps you've taken, how close you are to your goal, how many calories you've burned, so on and so forth. And uh, for that purpose, it's really cool. Um, also, one thing I really liked about it is it's also a smartwatch. So it does have some apps on it, real basic. I mean, look at the screen. It's not going to have Facebook or Twitter on it, but it's um, enough to where it will sync with your phone. So if you get a phone call or a text message, um, even Twitter alerts, you'll actually get those on there. You don't get the whole thing, but you get like a little piece of it. So if you get a text message and it's emergency, you could check and see, is it an emergency? Okay, let me take this. You could stop working out or whatever it is you're doing. Um, I think they made it a smartwatch too though, so you could you have an incentive to keep it on all day, so it constantly tracks your your calories burned, your steps taken, how close you are to the goal that you set. Um, and speaking of the goal that you set, you download for iOS and Android, you can get the Strive app. And you can see how many steps you've taken. You could set a sleep goal, because you can actually wear it when you're sleeping. And you, it will track your sleeping pattern, which I don't understand any of that. Some of you might think that's really cool and know exactly what you're looking for in your sleeping pattern. I don't, so I'm not sure. Um, but you can see your calories and all, I mean all kinds of data. You can also friend people who also have it and you can have like competitions and, and who's winning and who's losing the most weight and burning the most calories and, and all that fun stuff. Um, so overall, I think it's a pretty cool little device. Um, some of the things I didn't like about it. I didn't like trying to take it out of the box. It was very frustrating. Everything was taped, like it was taped, the packaging was taped inside, like the little box that came in. So then you had to like r open up the whole thing, take it out, and then this, it was just, it was really complicated. It was really difficult to get out. So that was kind of frustrating. Also, a big thing that I didn't really like, I'm a big electronics person, a big technology person, and I like being able to take something out of the box and use it. And you can't do that with this because it comes 0% charged. I'm not even exaggerating, not even 1%. The first thing it tells you to do in the quick start guide is unpack it. Unpack the little charging cradle and plug it in for 90 minutes for a full charge. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's cool that it charges fully in 90 minutes, that's pretty awesome. But I think that with so many other options out there, um, and even smartwatches, if it wants to call itself a smartwatch, so much technology out there, you open it up and you can use it right there. Even if it's only a 20% charge, you could still use it and set it up. I couldn't even fully get it set up because there was an update and it had to have at least 10% battery to, have the up to do the update. So I had to wait for it to go to 10% to finally be able to do the update. So that was kind of frustrating. Um, using it, it was actually really comfortable to wear. Um, I was on the treadmill in the gym and I kind of forgot I had it on. Um, but I don't feel it's 100% accurate and this is why. Um, I ran like a mile and a half and the, the treadmill said I burned like 200 calories. This said I burned eight. So I don't know, even the treadmill might be off, but I'm sure this is off too. So I don't know if it's something that I just don't fully understand and how it counts calories and maybe I was doing something wrong. But for me, again, it's kind of something like if it's gonna count calories and count your steps, I think you should just be able to take it out, put it on and go and be able to just fully understand what it is you're using and not have to figure out, you know, what's, how, how is it only eight calories for a mile and a half? So, so yeah, those are the things I didn't like about it. Um, but overall, I think it's a kind of, a, it's a cool piece of technology. Um, it's probably not something that I would really use, but I'm sure there are lots of people out there who would use it. 
Um, it is very sleek and it does come, like this is a cool part too, it comes with two other colored bands. It comes with a red one and then kind of like a stone blue color, they call it denim. Um, and the unit itself just kind of pops right out of the um, right out of the band. Really easy to change and you can even, I bet you could even pop it out and just stick it in your pocket if you didn't want to wear it on your wrist. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, like I said, overall it's really cool. It's a cool piece of te technology. It kind of disappointed me at first. Um, definitely not something I would use. I think that if you're interested in looking into it, figure out the calorie thing because you don't want to get it and have it not count the calories that you supposedly burned, but you it says you didn't because that kind of defeats the purpose. So that's my review. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I definitely recommend you guys checking it out and see what you think. Um, if you like this video, leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you didn't like it, leave a comment down below and let me know what you didn't like. If you have it and you use it and you love it, let me know too because I want to know what was I doing wrong? Was I doing something wrong and can I not figure out how to use it. Um, if you guys like review videos like this, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and hit that little red subscribe button. It's free and it helps me out and it doesn't cost you anything. So yeah, so make sure to do that. And again, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.